that it really helps kids. It can make a world of difference to be anchored to at least one school adult, to have a good, trusting, solid relationship with a school adult who you feel like you can talk to if you're having a concern or a problem of some kind. And we have a relationship mapping tool, making caring common that schools can use. And it's fairly simple. You know, adults just go through, um, staff go through every kid in the building and they put a star next to those kids they have trust and caring relationships with. And you might want to do this a few weeks or a month into school. And one of the things you, you discover is that there's some kids who have a lot of relationships with adults and then there are other kids who don't have any relationships with adults. And that becomes the map. And then as a school, you can become intentional and systematic about making sure that every kid is anchored to at least one adult. Um, and you can give adults some support and guidance in connecting to those kids who are disconnected. Um, the second thing that I would really emphasize is that kids are going to be anxious for different reasons. They're going to be kids who are going to have separation anxiety because they've been spending so much time with their families over the last year and a half, and they're going to have difficulty being separated from their from their parents or from their siblings or other family members. There are some kids who are going to be anxious about disease. There are other kids who are going to be socially anxious. They're going to be anxious about making friends, and they're going to feel like they're rusty or out of practice or they you know, haven't been around a lot of kids in a long time and reconnecting and integrating into the school are going to be hard for them. So if you can spend you know, early in the year, if a teacher or counselor or someone could just spend 20 minutes with each kid individually asking the question, what are you worried about or what do you see as challenges this year and doing some brainstorming with the child about what might be helpful those things can make a big difference. And the third thing I would just say is that I really would underscore, elevate the importance of community building early in the year. Um, Main Care in Common has lots of activities that help to develop community fairly quickly and, and strong, inclusive communities. They're fun activities, they're games, they're resources of different kinds to build community. Some of them we've, we've taken from summer camp because summer camp tends to be a place where you know good summer camps have really figured out how to quickly create strong communities. But I think if you do that work, it can set the stage for the whole year in a very positive way. That if kids feel like they're well embedded, anchored, in strong relationships with other kids and with adults, they're going to be protected from anxiety, they're going to achieve at higher levels academically, um, and they're just going to have a much better, um, healthier experience at school.